We're back. How are you? <laughs> I don't know what was going on. My screen was blank. I'm not sure if yours was or not. See my mess here? <laughs> well, I was going to do one thing, and then I picked a stamp set off the wall and was trying to decide what to make. And um, in the process, I realized that... So I was going to just stamp some of these flowers. Uh, this is from Darling Details. It's got some great happy birthday. Hello there. You're not here. I hate that friend. Count on me among all the people who are here for you. Just a note. Thank you. And some great double stamping. So I had intended to use just this. And then I realized I had some great dyes. I, I cut out a couple sprigs out of soft sea foam. That's this one. But it has this whole... Good Lord. I don't even know what I do with it. Can you tell? I wasn't planning on this at all. I must have set it down. Well, this is one of the dyes that I... Maybe this is the only one that's in there. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm missing more dyes. Hey, Karen. Hey, Janet. Thanks for being here. So, in true Kathy fashion, I didn't prepare, and now I'm lost, and I'm not sure. Oh, there are more dyes, so I must have left them over at my big shot. But I do not see them there. <clears throat> Okay, well, somewhere here is more dyes that go with this. So <clears throat> I've used this bigger die. It cuts basically a card front size. There's a smaller one, and there's like a border die. Can you see that? Oh, maybe I'm not even showing that to you. So I use the bigger one. There's a smaller one and a border die, and we may or may not be using these. Like I said, I didn't plan to die cut. But when I saw this die, I went, ooh, I have to use that. So I'm going to just put these aside for now. All right, so we have this great little tool that went out of stock. Oh, look, there they are. Oh, no, that's the same one. <laughs> well, there's the border die. So I'm just missing one of these. Yeah, that's the big one. Um, we have this great tool that went out of stock before I even realized we had it, to be perfectly honest with you. And one of my local stampers picked up on it. It's kind of like a scoring tool. And it goes in the take, well, I guess I should show you. It goes in your take your pick tool. There is also an X-Acto knife. As well as, like, a, a hook. I'll give us something to show you on like that. And the other side is like a pointy tool. So I wonder if this is like a crochet hook and this is like a darning needle. But honestly, this would be great when you're trying to pull ribbons through things. Um, one of you guys commented on that one time. Could you use your tool? And I went, huh, probably could have. So this is, if you've never seen it, this is another adapter for the pick pick me up tool and I basically used it to get all the little holes poked out like that if you've never seen it there we go did I get them all so this is a very lovely stitching all around the outside edge hey Pat Donna thanks for being here so I'm gonna take out the spatula slash poking tool and I am going to put in, oh, no, it doesn't go in that end. I told you, wholly unprepared. I'm not going to lie, I was down at the pool this afternoon. It's the first nice day we've had here in New Hampshire. Not all afternoon, but a couple hours. Okay. So I thought, hey, let's try making, hope it's going to work, a perforated bookmark on a card front. Not totally sure it's going to work. But we're going to try it. So, um, I have chosen Barry Burrist, 
Lemon Lolly, which is this paper, Soft Sea Foam. I chose Lagoon, Lost Lagoon, and Bubble Bath. I'm looking for a soft, nice palette. I know the Berry Burst doesn't fit in with the soft. I brought this over because I was die cutting some leaves. And I need some white. And I thought I had right here, but I don't. Please excuse me. Go grab some white. I can't wait to show you what I have in store coming up. I know I teased you with some of my Christmas and July designs. I am going to do this. Um, let's see. So... I brought over my, I call it the Baby Boss, my mini die cut machine, because I would originally planned on just stamping on white, but I think I want my flowers three-dimensional. So I'm going to cut this card base. I'm going to score it at five and a half. Do I want this to be white? I'm going to hold off on the card base. I am, however, going to cut three-inch strips so we can stamp and die cut some flowers. Then we'll decide on the card base. Because I'll show you my idea. Actually, maybe I'll just show you now. So I'm thinking a bookmark is about two inches wide. So you want thick white cardstock. So instead of cutting four inches, I'm going to cut six inches. Like so. I have another piece of scrap. And we want it to be five and a quarter. So four by five and a quarter is your standard card base. I am just going to put a little cut at the top here like this. Now I'm hoping this is going to work. We're going to see. I could be making a fool out of myself here. And I want... What, 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 oh, here it is. I want my pretty decorative label punch. Hey, Penny. And I don't know. You know what? I think I have to cut that a little deeper. I don't know that I'm actually going to get that in there the way I had planned. It's going to go in there pretty deep. I'm going to hold off on that. We may do something different with the top of that. But I'll show you my thought here. My thought is this. Now, you want to have a pad down. I have a good pad on my desk. And I want to hold the ruler nice and straight. And I'm hoping this is going to make a perforation. Whoa. Keep it on the ruler. Yes. So then we can fold it in. And I didn't do a very nice job. And then someone can pull it off and use it as a bookmark. So we're going to recut this piece real quick. And we're going to use that as scrap. Because I went over it twice. And you don't want to go over it twice. And maybe we don't want to go over it quite as hard as I just did. My first time using it, we're going to find out. So I'm cutting it six by five and a quarter. Because four by five and a quarter and then a two inch bookmark. Okay. <clears throat> now we want to go in two inches. I did a cut on my ruler before, but that's not what I'm actually going to do now. Pencil, pencil. I must have one here. So I'm just ticking the tiniest bit. A two inch mark so I know where to connect my ruler. So that it's straight. Like this. Okay. And then I'm also not going to press quite as hard as I did. Did that work? Nope, because I must have ran it on the ruler. <laughs> We're live, folks. I'm looking for my two-inch tick mark here. There it is, and there it is. It's so light. It's 
So I'm applying some pressure, but not the most pressure, pressure ever. I don't know that it really... I'm so afraid to cut it off. There we go. That worked that time. So like you saw this, it'll make a nice perforated edge like this. Clearly, I came down it, and then when I went back up it, I didn't go on the same line, which is why I have this. But it's going to give me a nice perforated edge like this, and then the person can take this piece, and it'll be their bookmark. And I'm not sure how we're going to do the top yet. So that's going to be my inside poise. Putting it up there. Remind me of that. <laughs> All right, let's stamp some flowers. Brand spanking new, except for a greeting. So <clears throat> I am going to, I think I'll do three flowers in different colors. Let's see here. I think the greens are gonna be my leaves. So I think I'm gonna do a berry with a pink and a berry with a yellow. So I'm going to stamp my berry first. Good Lord. No block. Let's block for it fit. Yes. Okay. So I'm just going to come down here. And I'm just, oh, isn't that pretty? I'm just going to stamp three or four flowers. Now I'm also, this piece up here, because this is going to be my bookmark, I want to stamp on this. I'm going to put a piece of scrap under it so that I kind of stamp off the image as well. And I want to put a piece on this side so that I make sure I don't stamp on what will be the inside liner of the card. Hopefully. like that. Okay. I'm going to keep those close by. Look up my cloth. I just had it. Oh, right here. <laughs> right in my hand. Let me just squeeze a little, spritz a little stamp and scrub, stamp and mist on my cloth here. Okay. Now, I'm going to put that on my plate so I don't lose it. Now we're going to go in, and I'm going to use the Lemon Lolly first because it's the lighter of the colors. And I'm rushing, and I don't accidentally want to contaminate my Lemon Lolly pad. And I'm going to just do a few flowers in Lemon Lolly. And this is pretty easy to line up. There's a big groove right here that I think is the big groove on the stamp there. And if it's not perfect, it's okay. I think it's like, oh, pretty, pretty. Okay. I can see all kinds of possibilities with this. Everything from using... Um, sorry, can't chew gum and talk at the same time. Oh, stamped at the back of my block. <laughs> um, endless possibilities with this. You could spritz water on your stamp. You could use your water painter. There are a lot of possibilities here. Okay, now... We are going to take one, and we are going to kiss. It's called kissing. We're not going to stamp it. We're going to, I'm hoping I get this so that you can see it. We're going to roll the edges on the ink pad. Did I get it? Yep. So that the outside has some pink. But the inside, I have to pull this a little closer, but the inside remains true yellow. And this should be, see, a little blending of colors there. 
Isn't that pretty? So before I put it back in my yellow, my lemon lolly, we need to make sure that we clean the stamp well. And let's just go ahead and kiss this. You also could use um, a dauber to add some pink. Like that, isn't that pretty? I may do that for the rest of them. I was going to do, well, I'm going to guinea pig this one here and see how I like it just pink. Let's see how we like this one just pink. I think I like the kissing. If I had a dauber, I would show you what I mean. <clears throat> so I'm going to go back and add another because I really really love the look of that. Okay. So my lemon lolly. And then we're just going to roll the edge. There we go. And each one will be just a little different. I think I'm going to do that with this other one, too. Just remember, clean your stamp well before you wish you hooked on, hooked on the dyes, but now you love the flowers, too. Yeah, seriously, isn't it? Um, yes. That tool is awesome in that it has a lot of great versatility okay and I'm just kissing the edges this will be my bookmark here and I'm working on here like that okay now let's see I'm gonna close up this berry burst, the bubble bath, and the lemon lolly. Let's put a sentiment inside our card. So, um, I always do birthdays. It's thankful. How about count on me? For all the people who are here for you. After all, it is a thankful, we're thankful for someone, so we're going to be there for them. I'm not entirely sure I'm done with that flower. And I actually think I'm going to go back to this berry burst for the greeting. Now, the question is what color are we going to do the card base? I may do it in this soft sea foam. We'll see. Well, I don't know if I would like the yellow, the lemon lolly, a big layer of lemon lolly next to the soft sea foam. So that remains to be determined. I'm going to just pop this back in here so it doesn't get lost. I'll take it over and wash it later. Okay, now I'm going to set this aside and. Let's bring over our baby boss. So I need my base plate and two clear plates. I don't need these ones. Oh, look, sitting right on my desk are the other dies. Good thing because I forgot we need the outline die. <laughs> ah, yeah, sometimes things could bite me. They're so close. All right, now I am going to use a uh, sticky note to hold this in place to make sure I have it where I want it. And I'm sorry that I'm doing this live as I try not to torture you guys with this. So just a quick reminder 
This does not seem to apply to the full-size machine, but for some reason, this little machine, if you line your plates up exactly, it won't go through. If they're a direct line like that, it's best to have your sandwich slightly skewed, and then it'll go through. Why is that? I'm not really sure, but it is a fact. And I don't have enough leverage here where I'm at. I'm going to make my top plate the longest plate. Let's see if I can get it to catch. For some reason, it doesn't want to catch. Gosh, am I really that out of practice with this machine? Oh, because look. I have an extra base plate. Not an extra base plate, an extra clear plate. Phew! Good thing I put that sticky note on there. Boy, I'm starting to get nervous. I'm like, oh, this is not good. Okay, so we're just going to go through and run them all through very quickly. Cute, cute. I think. I think I'm going to skip just the pink and I'm going to just do the ones that are kissed and then the all yellow one although the pink may go get better against the yellow border uh, I'll evaluate in a minute Machine's great because it's so light you can take it anywhere. Okay, where's my yellow border? Too much yellow, ladies? Or do you like the pink? Anybody have any input? Maybe the pink, huh? Maybe I'll do the the bubble bath. I was gonna stick with all yellow, but Hey, Marsha. Glad you're here. So I typically do things in threes, which is why I'm not... Marsha and Karen both say pink, so I picked the right one. Um, I typically do things in threes, which is why I'm not going to cut that fourth flower out. I'll save that for a different project. Okay. I did die cut a couple leaves, so I'm going to take my extra plate. Don't be Kathy. Some days I don't get the all-star one, I'm just saying. I'm going to put these back before I lose them. All right, let's see. So, card base color. Oh, I don't know about that. Let me see what berry burst looks like or bubble gum. Bubble bath. I always call it bubble gum. It's bubble bath. What do we think, girls? Which color are we liking? Lost Lagoon? Bubble Bath? Or Berry? Oh, yeah, I do think Berry is going to be the winner. What do you guys think? I think it makes it pop. Oh, we have a green. Okay. We have a couple greens. Are you changing your mind, girls? Do you like it better with the berry or you like to stick with the lagoon? I guess we'll stick with the lagoon for now. Okay. Oh, now we have a berry. Oh, now we have multiple berries. Now berry. Okay. Let's go back to berry. Good thing I looked. Alright, so let's cut a card base. I'm going to make this a standing card. 
an easel card. Here's my little sprigs I cut. I'm going to put them over here. So I'm going to score this at five and a half. <clears throat> and that didn't score. What didn't that score? don't think it was sitting in the track well enough. And we're going to cut it at four and a quarter. Okay. You know what? Actually, I do think this berry will look nicer at the bookmark top, too. Okay. Let's put our base in here. I'm going to fold that over. Oh, we probably should have stamped the back, huh? Now you want to do one thing here. I'm going to take a hole punch. We could use the slit maybe. Let's see what ribbon we're going to use. Let's see, let's see. Oh, you know what? I like to be fun sometimes. Some of you may say, oh, I know. Actually, I'm changing my mind again. Changing my mind again. We're going to do the pretty lemon lolly. In which case, I think I'll do the slit on the trio punch. I was going to do a hole punch. But, well, let me see how this works when you... Oh, yeah, that's perfect. We are going to do some more stamping on here. Add some more color. But I did want to just get that in there. And then we'll have the lemon lolly. So actually, let's do a little stamping here. Oh, with some sprigs and whatnot. Looking, looking, looking. That's what I'm looking for right there. And I think I'll keep it really pastel-y with the soft sea foam and I'm going to just kind of fill in here and make sure I use that mask There we go. Now I'm going to take it one step further. And I hope I don't ruin it. I hope I don't ruin it. <laughs> Famous last words, right? I'm going to very lightly just go in and add some color. Not where the flowers are, but on the really white parts, just to soften it a little bit. Not a lot. I love my blending brushes. Any excuse to use them. It's very calming using blending brushes. As long as you get it where you want, right? <laughs> when you mess up, then it's not so calming, but that's okay. <laughs> there we go. Just to add a little bit more to it. I'm going to leave that open because I am going to use that. Don't think I'll be using the Lost Lagoon. So let's put this inside. Maybe I should thread the ribbon through. So this is the satin trio, the stitched. It's got that lovely metallic stitching coming through. And what I like to do is double it up, poke it through like that, and then pull the two pieces through like this. And then I'm just going to die cut them at an angle. Not die cut them, trim them at an angle. And we don't want it to be very long. Now we're going to add some adhesive. 
And you may want to throw a little extra adhesive right along the line where the perforation is, and they're going to pull it. I'm going to fold it over so that I can see that I have it centered. And then we're just going to tuck that down like that. So when they open it, they'll tear this off. Now, I was going to use the punch. That was my original thought. Like I said, I didn't come into this trying anything. I wanted to put this beautiful decorative edge up here, but as I discovered, there's really no way to get that piece in here unless you separate it. So this was the next best option. All right, I'm going to leave that open while I play on the front. So I'm going to add adhesive all around my border. Oop, oh, oop, oh, oop. Oh. Where's my silicone mat? Here we go. Like this. And then we'll put this down. Oh, pretty, pretty. Like that. Very nice. I'm grabbing some dimensionals. I pulled them over to a side table today. There we go. And let's start arranging. We may we may need to do some more greenery. It must be a nice little gift to get. A nice little thank you gift. Okay, we should have done, I should have done all those flowers. Let's see. There we go. Like that. Okay, I'm going to pop these little guys up on dimensionals under my flowers like so and what I am realizing is I should have die cut a few more so rather than take the time to die cut I'm going to grab my bow punch Bow punch. How are you pronouncing it? Bow? I think it's bow. Hmm. Interesting. Where is my bow punch? Oh, there it is. Oh, but before I do that, maybe some of these leaves would be nice. So, let's cut some strips. Just cutting some <clears throat> strips of paper so I don't have as much waste. And I may reposition these now. Now that I've decided to do this. I think I'll... So now, the question is, I think this may need a little stamping. And... So I think what I'm going to do now is pull this apart, now that I've committed to them being there. I'll show you. I think this needs a little dimension. So I'm going to take my Lost Lagoon. I'm going to pull this dimensional off the back here. Let me get my other scraps out of the way. And let's hope this stamps.
Not bad. Not bad. So now, as you know, this heart punch did not come out of this set. So I'm going to try. Whoa, I messed that one up. There we go. Better. Yeah. Mm. It'll do. <laughs> I'm going to try to use this image and put a little dimension on here. Or actually, maybe I'll use this image. The bigger image. And put a little dimension on that heart punch yeah. leaf. Your guess is as good as mine here, folks. We're going to see. Yeah, not too bad, right? Just going to make sure this is in the right direction. Because they curve kind of different ways. So you just want to make sure it curves in the right way. Like that. So that's Last Lagoon. Oh, I'm glad you like this card. Let's see. Ugh! The twins, the socks, they're not having a good year. I said it to you though, Karen. I didn't think they were going to have a good year this year. They, they were not looking great to me. I think it's a building year for them. Okay, so now, let's see. We want to try to, well, first, I want to hide this guy. I mean, I'm going to put him in there, but he's not the best-looking guy ever. I didn't do a very good job. He's the nice guy. He's not the good-looking guy. <laughs> so I'm going to put him back under here. And then I'm going to take one of these leaves and kind of like that. Okay, let's see. I think I'll have this one come out up here. I love dimensionals and being able to pop things out. Yeah, my socks. Karen, did I ever tell you my, my grandfather used to play for the Boston Braves? Karen and I talk baseball sometimes. By your socks, the first two games. I haven't seen much TV, I'm afraid to say, this year. Even my sports. We did listen to it one Sunday when we were working in the yard. We caught some of it. But Karen, my, my grandfather used to play for the Boston Braves back 100 years ago now, maybe. <laughs> Literally, before they moved. Kind of fun. Kind of a little fun fact. Nope. Get that dimensional out of there. Kind of wish I had done two together somewhere. Maybe I could do two here. And have it overlap that flower a little bit. There we go. Now we just need a greeting. Okay. Doesn't sit perfectly flat, I will tell you that, but that's okay. So, how about just a note, because we put count me among all the people who are here for you. So, just a note. A little pick-me-up, a little inspiration for someone. What do I have for tags on my desk today? Oh, here's one. Might be a little small. That's a little too big. Let's see. Does this one fit? So this comes out of... Um, I think I'm going to use this one, and I'm going to do it in the berry because it's nice and bold. This comes from the Stylish Shape dies. Whenever we cut too many, I throw them on my desk for just such a purpose. There we go. I think I'll put that across there. K, 
Okay, it looks nothing like it did in my head, <laughs> including the bookmark part, but I love it. Put that across the center. Now we need some gems. What's sitting on my desk? Let's see. Let's see, let's see. I want, I was hoping I had sitting here. Oh, this is what I was hoping for. These are those pearls. They're pretty too, but I don't. Yeah, I don't think those match quite as well. They're a little too pinky red. That's not the right way to say it. It's not pinky red, but. <clears throat> but these, I think. These are the Tinsel 4-pack. So it's got the Lemon Lolly, the Blueberry, the... Um, I'm going to look it up for you because off the top of my head I can't remember. It doesn't say it on the package like it used to in the old days. Listen to me, in the old days. It is Pretty Peacock. Blueberry Bushel, Berry Burst, and Lemon Lime Twist. Oh, that's Lemon Lime Twist, not Lemon Lolly. Getting my lemons confused. They do have, I guess, a hint of green tint to them. I don't think I'm going to use that. I'm going to stick to my Berry Burst over here. go. We'll put one down here. And yeah, maybe one in the center of the flower. Oh, I don't think I like it in the flower. It takes away from the, the pretty of the stamp. All right, there we go. There's our bookmark. They can just carefully tear this off. We use the, uh, these are called the Take Your Pick Crafter Tips that we used for that perforation. Has a nice perforated blade there. So there we go. Not too shabby, huh? Darling details. I liked the dies way better than I thought I would. So there we go. It does have, this was the leaf I pre-die cut, it does have this pretty leaf, um, petal you could sponge paper and cut that out put it on top I think that would be very pretty maybe we'll do that for another video all right well tomorrow is fun fold Friday and um, I want to give you something to look forward to this weekend probably Sunday I don't think I'm going to get it out before Sunday but I'm going to give you a sneak peek of the retreat I've been working on you ready it's called the Summer Heat Retreat. The retreat itself, hey Pat, Debbie, the retreat itself will come with three different card classes. And this will be using the Good Feelings stamp set, very detailed cards. The, cl the retreat will come with a pack of this gingham paper, a spool of this ribbon, and that's one class you're going to get in it. You're going to get the So Refreshing class, which is all beautiful lemonade. Love this. It's great to have a class that's different. Now for this, I we will die cut the pitches and the glasses, obviously the strawberries too. Um, you could always use a marker to fill in if you wanted. You couldn't do the lemons clearly, but you could color the leaves and the lemons. You'll get all the pieces. If you have the stamp set, you can stamp on it. This is the only piece you won't get. You really will have to provide your own flowers if you don't have the stamp set. Okay? That's the second class that's coming in the retreat. The third class... 
that's coming in the retreat is everybody's favorite. It's the beautiful balloons. This is a cute fun fold. So like that. This one looks like a shaker card, but it's not. This is, and I actually put this piece on upside down. It usually has the gold confetti. <laughs> I'm going to have to give the, get the copy I gave to Joelle. See how um, the vellum is on the outside of the yellow? I should have put it the other way. Don't be me. So this will have gold, gold there. And then this pretty card. Great for men or women. And then this fun fold. Whoa. So this, <clears throat> if you have the beautiful balloon stamp set, you can stamp the inside. That's about the only thing you can't, that you need the stamps for if you don't have it. You can put any greeting on the balloon and this can be plain. So there you go. That'll be, that's the second class. No, that's the third class in the retreat. And there's going to be one more add-on class with less shops. So all of these can be done pretty much without the stamps. The refreshing class is the one that's going to need the stamps the most. But like I said, you will get the pieces die cut, so you could color if you wanted to. If you add any of the stamps on, they will ship free. Look for all this on Sunday. And... um Let's see, there's a great bag, there's going to be pillow gifts, there's going to be live videos, there'll be a video on Friday night, it's going to be a long weekend, the videos will be interactive, so like Facebook, we can talk, I'm trying to work it out so I can do it on Zoom for anybody that's not on Facebook, um, but the videos after the fact will get stored in a private room on Facebook and you can join and you can post the pictures of what you've done there and interact with each other. And, um, uh, this is my first one that I've done to go and I'm hoping it'll be fun. I'm learning technology to do this. So you'll have to bear with me while I drag my feet on getting this rolled out, but there'll be a Friday night live. There'll be, uh, two classes on Saturday live and I'll have at least one guest presenter. You will not get a class for them. You can just, you know, show up and see what they do. Um, and I'm hoping to have two. I'm trying to book two. So that'll be exciting. Someone other than me, someone other than my taste. And then there'll be an add-on class that you can purchase for Sunday. Um, and that's the Lay Shops class. So it'll come with the three classes, uh, Friday night, Saturday activities, there will be pillow gifts in your box. There'll be a great bag in your box. There will be door prizes that I'll pull live on the videos. And if you can't be at the videos, that's okay. Um, because they'll all be recorded. And ahead of time, I will give you a list for the classes of items you might want to have on hand. For instance, if you didn't have the balloon stamp set for the balloon class, then... Um, you know, I might say, hey, get, you know, some kind of birthday greeting or something that goes with this card. So, um, <laughs> Karen. <laughs> so I, I hope I'm praying, doing a lot of praying on it. I hope it goes as smoothly and as well as I hope it will go. But like I said, I have a f busy few days. I have a team meeting on Saturday for the local girls. So I won't, I won't, I probably won't get it rolled out till Sunday, but, um, be looking for it and I will see you on, um, tomorrow, Friday on Funful Friday. All right. Thanks for being here. I hope you give this a try. This is a really a fun little card to send someone. So I hope you give it a try. Thanks you guys. I will see you tomorrow. Probably, um, Oh, I have a 10.30 appointment, so it'll be mid-afternoon or later. I'll post a time in the morning. Thanks for being here, as always. Very grateful to you. Bye.